Satan Unrepentant from Odes and Sonnets by Clark Ashton Smith. Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer. Lost from those archangelic thrones that star, fadeless and fixed, heaven's light of azure bliss, rejected of his splendor and depressed beyond the birth of the first sun, and lower than the last star's decline, I here endure abased majestic fallen beautiful and unregretful in the doubted dark throneless that greatens chaos ward albeit from chanting stars that throng the nave of night lost echoes wander here and of his praise with ringing moons for symbols dinned afar and shouted from the flaming mouths of suns the shadows of impalpable blank deeps deep upon deep accumulate close down around my head concentred while above in the lit loftier blue star after star spins endless orbits betwixt me and heaven and at my feet mysterious chaos breaks abrupt immeasurable round his throne now throbs the rhythmic resonance of suns incessant perfect music infinite i throneless hear the discords of the dark and roar of ruin uncreate then which some vast cacophony of dragons heard in wasted worlds were purer melody the universe his tyranny constrains turns on in old and consummated gulfs the stars that wield his judgment wait at hand and in new deeps apocalyptic suns prepare his coming lo his mighty whim to make and mar goes forth enormously in nights and constellations darkness hears enraged suns that bellow down the deep god's ravenous and insatiable will and he is strong with change and rideth forth in whirlwind clothed with thunders and with doom to the red stars god's throne is reared of change its myriad and successive hands support like music his omnipotence that fails if mercy or if justice interrupt the sequence of that tyranny begun upon injustice and doomed evermore to stand thereby i who with will not less than his but lesser strength opposed to him this unsubmissive brow and lifted mind he holds remote in nullity and night doubtful between old chaos and the deeps betrayed by time to vassalage methinks all tyrants fear whom they may not destroy and i that am of essence one with his though less in measure he may not destroy and but withstands in gulfs of dark suspense a secret dread for ever for god knows this quiet will irrevocably set against his own and this mine old revolt yet stubborn and confirmed eternally and with the hatred born of fear and fed ever thereby god hates me and his gaze sees the bright menace of mine eyes afar through midnight and the innumerable blaze of servile suns lo strong in tyranny the despot trembles that i stand opposed for fain am i to hush the anguished cries of substance broken on the racks of change of matter tortured into life and god knowing this dreads evermore some huge mishap that in the vigils of omnipotence once careless i shall enter heaven or he himself with weight of some unwonted act thoughtless perturb his balanced tyranny to mine advance of watchful aspiration with rumoured thunder and enormous groan burden of sound that heavens overborne let slip from deep to deep even to this where climb the huge cacophonies of chaos god's universe moves on confirmed in pride in patient majesty serene and strong i wait the dreamt inevitable hour fulfilled of orbits ultimate when god 
whether through his mischance or mine own deed or rise of other and extremer strength shall vanish and the lightened universe no more remember him than silence does an ancient thunder i know not if these mine all indomitable eyes shall see a maimed and dwindled godhead cast among the stars of his creating and beneath the unnumbered rush of swift and shining feet trodden into night or mark the fiery breath of his infuriate sons blaze forth upon and scorch that coarsened essence or his flame drawn through the windy halls of nothingness a mightier comet roar and redden down potentous unto chaos i but wait in strong majestic patience equable that hour of consummation and of doom of justice and rebellion justified end of poem this recording is in the public domain